Kate Maloney is the head of Students for Life America in New England, and she's joining the show now. Kate, thank you so much for being with us. Hi, Grace. Thanks. It's great to be here. I'm so excited. So, Kate, first of all, let's give people a little bit of a rundown. What is Students for Life of America, and how does it work for local high schools and colleges? Yeah, that's a great question. So, Students for Life of America, we are the largest national youth pro-life organization, and we exist to abolish abortion in our lifetime. And we do that specifically with and for the young people, what we like to call the pro-life generation. And so one of the big tasks that I do as a regional coordinator in the New England area, I cover six states, that's Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And I help empower students to be pro-life on their academic campuses, whether that's at the high school level, the college level, the med law level. I'm here to educate them, to train them, and to equip them to respond and advocate for the pro-life cause. Now, Kate, I'm going to ask you a question that I often feel about this topic, which is, and I think people my age probably feel this way too, a lot of people are kind of... I don't want to say in the middle because I know that sounds terrible, but people are kind of Mm -hmm. they're kind of distant from it because it seems so controversial and it seems so personal. So do you ever get people who don't really know where they stand, but they want to come and they want to they want to hear your side of it and hear what you have to say? Oh, yeah, all the time. And I always encourage students. So we do things like apologetics training, which is where we we go over the issue of abortion and not only how to um understand our point of view and our, and our arguments, but also how to communicate those. And I always invite people who are on the fence because, you know, I really think when someone's on the fence about something, especially in the context of abortion, it's always about, you know, how do you understand the situation? Do you understand the circumstances? Do you understand the suffering that sometimes women feel and they think that, you know, abortion is a way to an answer to that suffering or to these circumstances? And what I do is, you know, we uncover the reality of what abortion is and we, under, we also reveal, like, how good women are and how good the human person is and how abortion is an assault on that. Um, and so that's really what we uncover in these apologetics trainings and how I kind of go about um, educating, you know, especially those who find themselves on the fence about abortion. Kate, uh, I'm speaking with Kate Maloney. She's the head of Students for Life of America. Um, And I guess my next question for you is, we have a lot of people who listen who did vote for Donald Trump. And I think people were surprised to see what a key part of Trump's uh, populist appeal being pro-life was and and how much a lot of different um, voters reacted to that positively. I think it was, um, you know, Donald Trump got a lot of people into his camp who the media did not predict would vote for Donald Trump. And a big part of that was the fact that he was pro-life. Right. Yeah. And we saw that as well. Um, You know, it was so great. Um, We have a C4 called Students for Life Action, and that's more of our um, public policy kind of hand in things. And so we were so encouraged to have an administration that valued the human person and that wanted, you know, equal rights for all human beings from the moment of conception, because that's when, biologically speaking, scientifically speaking, that's when life begins, and the law should recognize when human life begins. And and Kate, why do you think it is that right now the youth are getting so involved in this movement? I mean, I've kind of noticed the shift myself. I think that for a long time, um, I still consider myself pretty youthful. I mean, I'm I'm getting older, but I'm 28. But for a, a long time, you're so youthful. I, I'm, I'm so, you're youthful. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. But for a long time, I think my friends and and you know people, you know, in when I was in school, it was kind of a topic people steered clear of. But there does seem to be this this passion and this sudden interest in taking on this challenge. Why do you think that is? I think it's just about uncovering truth. And and I have a poll here that we released, uh, Students for Life. We have this Institute for Pro-Life Advancement. And, um, you know, it all comes down to truth and, and education. And we found that almost 7 out of 10 of millennials and Gen Z want to vote on abortion-related policy. And more than 7 out of 10 express support for limits on abortion. And almost 5 in 10 do not support forcing all Americans, regardless of their belief systems, to pay for abortions. And so it's really, it, it's putting this in young people's minds and educating them on, on, on when the human person, like when the biological human person begins. And it's really just fostering that truth. And, you know, millennials and Gen Z, they care about 
people. They care about the human experience. And when you kind of reveal, you know, how abortion, again, assaults that human experience and how a lot of times, you know, the abortion lobbyists and these abortion facilities, they care more about abortion than they do about the health and safety and well-being of women. And we see that reflected in this abortion extremism that's happened these past two years in states like New York, uh, Illinois, Massachusetts, um, and I even know New Jersey is trying to pass the Reproductive Freedom Act, where it's just this abortion through all nine months. You know, in the state of New York, I know non-physicians can administer abortions. Um, with the Roe Act, allows abortions through all nine months. And, it, 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 you know, you don't need parental consent anymore for minors. And so there's all this extremism happening. And so students are curious about that, and they, and they want to voice that, you know, uh, we don't want people to just survive. We want people to thrive. And abortion is an assault on that thriving. And um, that the state and its legislators and, you know, the governors who signed these very pro-abortion bills are very out of touch with what young people are because young people are fueled by truth. And that truth is, is winning in their hearts and minds. Kate, tell people what's going on this Friday at 9 a.m. in case they want to join and also tell them where they can find out more information. Yeah. So um, there is this amazing pro-life group called Helpers of God's Precious Infants. And this Friday, this good Friday at 9 a.m. at 1055 Commonwealth Ave in Boston at the Planned Parenthood, um, there will be a prayer group that is going to be doing Stations of the Cross outside of the Planned Parenthood. And it's a very peaceful event. Uh, it's just confronting the violence inside the building. There will be no signs, no yelling, it's just reverence and prayer in front of the Planned Parenthood because that we've seen that that is really powerful uh, in front of abortion facilities. And Kate, where can they find um, more information online or where can they, um, you know, find out more about the Students for Life of America? Um, so Students for Life of America, you can just visit our website, www.studentsforlife.org. Uh, when it comes to this Good Friday, um, this, this, happen- this event happening <laughs> at Good Friday, um, they can uh, Google Helpers of God's Precious Infants. Uh, they can reach out to Lou Murray. Um and um, along with other things, other areas, they can also check out studentsforlifeaction.org. That's our C4. And you can find all our information on there.